back to my channel so now we will create the controller so uh, start from here so we are getting here BABC so we will use one DMAX not DMAX uh, ABC to DQ controller sorry ABC to DQ converter okay so take uh, ABC to DQ converter from the library okay so this is the ABC to DQ and take one DMAX block so that uh, we can extract ABC to sorry DQ to only DQ so here we should make three now take one go to from okay I will not uh, take this one simply I will do so make it VD and this one as VQ okay and take one terminator and terminate this one because this signal we will not require now copy and paste and connect with this one okay so here this should be current so I will make it ID and this one IQ but here we will require go to from so I will take here go to and I will name this one as ID and this one is IQ Okay. Now I will keep it away. So take one comparator or some block. Now make it minus. So this one will be compared Okay, this one will be compared with this voltage Okay So this is the reference voltage with this this one will be compared Now similarly we will take one more comparator block okay so this one will be compared here and this one will require one constant block to provide zero volt here Okay, now here we have to give one PID controller. So discrete PID controller we will take here. Connect it, double click on it. Make it PI only. So this value is 0 0.1 and here it is 100 just apply copy it and paste it here so this will produce id ref okay and this one will produce iq ref so this is actually voltage control loop so this one actually voltage control loop so I will rename this one as 
वोल्टेज कंट्रोल लूप कंट्रोल ओके सो इन ग्रिड फॉर्मिंग इन्वर्टर यू विल सी टू टाइप कंट्रोलर दैट इज द मेन कंट्रोलर वन इज वोल्टेज कंट्रोल लूप एंड अनदर इज करेंट कंट्रोल लूप सो नाउ वी विल मेक करेंट कंट्रोल लूप अगेन सो फॉर दैट वी विल रिक्वायर वन पी आई कंट्रोलर ओके एंड कॉम्परेटर ऑल्सो Okay, so now double click on it and make it plus minus. Connect it, and here we have ID. So this ID will be compared here. Okay, similarly, copy and paste and connect here. And here is the IQ. So this IQ will be compared here. Okay, and give it to the PI controller. Double click on it, and here this PI value is P. KP KP value is thirty, and KI value is two hundred. Okay, now copy and paste. And connect it. So now this when this is nothing but UM. Okay, this is nothing but UM, and this one is UN. Actually, we are getting here the modulating signal. Okay, and this. part of the controller is called current controller current control loop so this is your current control loop now we have okay to modulating signal so we have to make it 3 okay so how we can make it by converting it into dq to abc okay so we have dq to abc converter okay so take that one and we have to connect it here but before that one more thing which is important here i forget to mention so copy this synchronizing coefficient and connect it here as well as here okay so this is important now we will take here one max okay double click on this max and make it 3 now we can connect this one also this one and also we will require zero quantity also okay dq zero so this zero will be given here now we have dq zero and it is given to dq to abc converter and this one will be applied here in order to synchronize the controller with the rated frequency okay now here we have to divide this abc reference voltage okay this abc reference voltage this one with uh, the vdc 
Okay, so we have to take one gain. So it should be two by VDC. So two by VDC means eight hundred because we have we have taken VDC as eight hundred volt. Okay, so this one why we are taking uh, this will limit this ABC voltage. Okay, within the modulation. So modulation we have taken here how much? Uh, this is plus minus one. Okay, so modulating a signal output or signal range should be within plus minus one volt. Okay, or plus minus one. So that will be governed by this one. So now this is the reference signal and it is simply applied to reference signal okay to the modulator so uh, now i will brief once again so what we did actually here we have taken the voltage okay across the capacitor of the lcl filter and current output of the inverter and this two has been converted to dq form then we have compared with the rated voltage voltage amplitude and given to api controller in order to control the voltage then later we have current controller okay and that current controller is actually producing the reference dq signal and that signal again converted to abc form and that abc reference signal is given to the sign pwm one thing which is very important to consider here that this one okay because this is the rated frequency this will actually decide the synchronization coefficient so now i can say that the controller is almost ready okay now we will see some voltage okay so first thing is that this voltage is very important to observe so that we can see how the inverter is working so for that what we will do uh, we have to take let me see we have consider yes phase to ground voltage okay so here we can take this one and make it b1 okay and take one dmux Okay, it is not like that. This one simply I will copy and paste it here. Flip it. Connect it here. And make it B1. Okay. I will observe only one phase signal. Okay. So here I will take scope. Okay, now I want to see the voltage and current of this bus. Okay, so for that I will copy this one and paste two times. So double click here, make it three. Okay, and again double click here and make it I A B C underscore b3 okay now take one scope and connect it like this so now i can say that almost it is ready so i will run the simulation it should not throw any error We are running it for 10 second okay so no need to run for 10 second i will run it for only 0 0.1 second you can run for infinite time so now you can see uh, how it is performing so we can see that uh, uh, this is the voltage okay so this is the voltage line to line voltage and this is the current drawn by the uh, load and here we are 
able to see the terminal voltage but this is not the correct way okay so remove this one and uh, take one voltage voltage measurement okay and connect it between these two terminal okay and take one scope here and now simulate it again and see the uh, terminal voltage output of the inverter here so double click on it you can see this is the terminal voltage so from this you can see that it is uh, showing that the inverter is working in the perfect way okay and here you can see this is the 325 okay face to face line voltage or line to line voltage we can say and this is the current now you can run it for 5 second also Okay, now you can see the waveform. So, pretty good waveform we are getting here. So now, from this video, I hope you understood how to simulate a grid forming inverter. And I hope and I believe that you can use this study in your further study. Okay, so please subscribe and like my channel. Thank you.